Well, I wrote the song when I was about 19. You can tell from the way I play it. It's full of angst and it's full of it's full of frustration and anger. And uh, it came from a time where I was kind of lost within myself and uh, couldn't express that. I suppose it was my mother, listening to my mother and, and my my family kind of just they were worried about me, you know, what I was what I was getting up to because of all the frustration and 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 the kind of sense of being lost. So I was just kind of I was kind of, I was I wasn't being kind to myself, you know, mm -hmm. and um, self destruct, you know, and it is that kind of you know stop stop killing yourself. You know, just be kind, be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Another hurt got led astray. It seems to me the number is growing day by day. Mothers cry when they find that the strangers start to point out such a big shock. He came from good stock. They'll try and stamp you in your people ill born and shit. Get up, get up, get up, get out and go. You keep walking in them shoes I'm certain you'd be stung and you'd be bruised I don't want that for me Riders are up by the sea The birds are in the trees You'll be living in the dark You should be singing with the dark Sunken face, it hides the shame. The heavy weight of your family's name leaves its mark upon your skin. Drinking from a dirty cup, falling deeper at every sip, falling deeper at every sup. Awake the fire within, chase those ghosts of sin. They want to try and stamp you out.
between music and writing, I wouldn't be here. You know, it's a bit of a cliche, but you can't help but talk in cliches when you talk about these kind of things sometimes. It definitely saved my life, do you know what I mean? And it still does. And, uh, but I, again, I, 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 was, I left school very young. I ended up on the Dole and I was in Foss. And, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but for, for, for me at the time, uh, my, all my friends were going to college and it was very, it was a very kind of fragmented time. There was a lot of static going on inside my head. And um, because I allowed fear to kind of get in, mm. I didn't. I didn't become the individual until much later. And I suffered because of that, you know. So if I could give any advice to any anybody going through it or anybody who's young coming up, find your avenue of expression and pour all your life source into that and, and, and don't take no for an answer, you know. Be the captain of your own ship. And um, Take control of your life. Take control of it. And it's a responsibility as well. Your physical health is your responsibility, as well as your mental health. You know, if you've yeah. got a growth in your arm, you know, you go and see a doctor or you, you, you kind of, you go to a healer or you do something. Mm -hmm. So if you feel something that's festering inside, you need to address it because nobody else is going to do it for you, you know. And I think there's, there's holistic ways and then there's other ways, but I think it's, it's about taking responsibility for it, you know.